Hi, my name is Anandakrishnan and welcome to my channel ICU Skills and Training. In this video, you will get an idea about the commonly using mask inside the hospital by a health professional and outside the hospital by a layman. Moreover, you will get how it is manufactured, what are the health benefits while wearing this type of mask and also what's the difference between this loop mask and this N95 mask. If you are not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notification for my further videos. This is simple face mask or loop mask. Actually it is invented, it is on 1961 and this has particularly to three layers the outer layer middle layer and the inner layer the outer layer is blue shape and the inner layer is white shape actually this outer layer is made up of hydrophobic non woven layer and the middle layer is melt blow layer and the inner layer is soft absorbent non woven layer and this outer layer it is act as a waterproof that will prevent any splash or any spread of microbes to our respiratory tract and this the white layer it is called as absorbent why because if we have any infection while wearing this type of mask and it will prevent to cross the infection to the others as we health professional we are using this mask commonly in hospitals during the time of procedures and all so this is commonly using this layer is to prevent the infection to the patient and i will suggest i will tell that this mask is particularly manufactured to prevent from droplet infections not for airborne precautions actually nowadays who is recommending that covid 19 uh, airborne precaution also so while you are going outside your home outside your area please use n95 mask instead of this mask this mask is particularly for droplet infections for example influenza whooping cough diphtheria pertussis then mumps rubella etc and some type of pneumonia also so this is manufactured it's for that type of infections not for airborne infections like tb measles now uh, this one uh, chicken pox and when we are using this mask actually this mask is like that some has tie also and see there is a gap here gap here gap so the microbes will enter inside our respiratory tract if it is airborne so this one mask is using only for droplet precautions if any of person is coughing or sneezing the la the molecular size of droplet viruses are little bit bigger and it will not cross this area and moreover this area is more contaminated and while using this mask if we touch here and we are spreading the cross infection to the whole area so don't touch the contaminated area and while removing remove like that and discard properly outside your room this is n95 mask nowadays commonly using mask inside the hospital while treating covid 19 patients and most of the people who are going outside their their own areas they are using this type of mask so i am recommending all to wear this type of mask if you are particularly sick you are facing some type of problems like kidney failure heart failure and uh, some diabetes hypertension breathing difficulty bronchial asthma some type of illness if you are facing means when you want to go outside your area please use n95 mask instead of simple face mask this mask is made of multiple layer of non woven layer that is inside and outside the mask actually this mask n95 mask will protect against 
both airborne drop airborne and droplet uh, microbes also for example the airborne microbes such as uh, tu tuberculosis measles chicken pox small pox etc uh, the molecular size of that is very small so it will this mask will prevent to enter to our respiratory system how we are using this mask means first we need to do hand washing and we need to adjust and seal properly see there is no gap anywhere and don't touch the contaminated area if you accidentally touch this area you need to do hand wash and the recommended hours the recommended time of wearing using a single mask is eight hours if you face any manufacturing defects like any gap or any splash or anything from the body fluids for such as blood serum etc occurs you need to remove and change to the another mask and while removing this mask don't touch here use this band and hold it like and dispose properly this is a very important thing while disposing this mask because it has chance of spreading cross infection to the commonly using mask in our hospitals examples are 3m 8511 3m 1860 3m safety n95 8210 and moldex n95 these are the commonly using mask available in our hospital and there is one oval shaped mask it's green color also using uh, so it's both are n95 so it will protect 95 percentage against this viruses i am remembering you all people once again that while using while going outside and while treating a patient please use this n95 mask instead of simple mask i hope you got an idea about the two types of masks commonly using nowadays and uh, if you have any doubts or any comments please comment to me and uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon to get further notification so thank you thank you very much goodbye